In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the Visual Fox Pro IDE. So we'll go ahead, fire up Visual Fox Pro. And as you can see, the Visual Fox Pro IDE is very simplistic. Um, here we have our menu bar, um, toolbar options. Uh, we have a data session window here, and we'll come back to this a little later. And uh, below here, we have a status bar, which we can turn off. And of course, we have our command window. Now, in Visual Fox, well, there are two ways um, in which we can uh, execute instructions. Um, we can either do so using the menu options, as I've mentioned here, file new, open, close, etc., etc. And I, I will use the menus from time to time. However, I prefer to work uh, mainly in the command window. Visual Fox Pro is quite interactive and allows me to do um, almost everything that I need to do from uh, within the command window. One of the things I, I like about Visual Fox Pro is that I can get immediate results. So I can tell Visual Fox Pro to, to show me or to calculate for me the value of 8 uh, times 341, etc. And uh, the result is printed right here on the Visual Fox Pro desktop, this right here or here. So let me close this. Here we have our status bar. And things that we can do in the Visual Fox Pro IDE is we can turn on, we can we can configure the, the environment to suit our needs. So I can turn the status bar off by setting uh, status bar off. What you're seeing here in version um, seven and up, uh, Vis Visual Fox Pro uh, gained IntelliSense, and so instead of instead of us having to remember the command as we start typing Visual Fox Pro will guess uh, what, it is, what it is that we wish to do and will and will assist us. So status bar and here I can turn it on or off. I want to just turn it off so you can see and right away that is carried out. I can turn I can change the, the background of my Visual Fox Pro desktop. Uh, Visual Fox Pro is object oriented so I can refer to the Visual Fox Pro IDE by its global name, underscore screen, and I can say your back color, access the back color property, uh, equal, and I should get a little help here from IntelliSense, and this will give me the color dialog if I click on it, and I can choose a nice color. Okay. Okay, so enter key, and we see the results right there. I tend to like white myself, so I'll just change that back. So right ahead, if I know if I know how to use the RGB function, I can go right ahead and just type the color in myself. I don't need to to use a dialog, but it's nice to have around. I can also change the Visual Fox Pro um, caption from say Microsoft Visual Fox Pro to whatever I'd like to. Okay. So we see we can print results. Uh, let's turn the status bar back on. Status bar on. And, you know, let me just pause here because we'll see there's a whole host of settings that affects uh, the Visual Fox Pro environment that we can that we can configure right from within a command window. Whether I can turn bell on, and that will allow us to hear a bell when entering in a field, and we've reached to the end of the field. Auto save on, and you can see some help over here uh, determines whether Visual Fox Pro flushes data buffers to disk, and so forth. Um, okay, so status bar. I can clear my desktop by just entering clear. Uh, I can open tables. Visual Fox Pro is known for working um, with data, uh, creating tables, creating databases, opening and closing tables, and all the operations that can be performed in tables. And I tend to work with the data session window when I want to open my tables along with my command window. And I, I can quickly open a table. 
by clicking open and Visual Fox Pro will show me the open dialog by default my file type is set to DBF and all I have to do is select the table click OK and the table is open in network area 1 right off I can see that I've got 86 records in there I will also see this information at least he, the, the counts of records in the status bar now right off the bat I can tell that this is a free table because Visual Fox Pro is showing me the full path of the table instead of referencing uh, a database name that the table belongs to and I'll get into more details on that in a later lesson right now my record pointer is on the first record in this table um, I'm on one of 86 and uh, the status bar is also telling me that I don't have the table open for exclusive use. Other items of interest are that my numlock key is on, my caps lock is on. And if I were to press the insert key and go into overwrite mode, we should see that coming on or off, and uh, my keyboard must be malfunctioning. Okay, insert, insert. Okay, uh, you can try that on your PC. My machine decided to misbehave at this critical time. Okay, so we've got the status bar. Uh, status bar is simply shortcut to the existing or the more commonly used menu options. So I can go new, which allows me to create all these different file types in Visual Fox Pro. Uh, one of the nifty things, and uh, just to continue to show you how interactive Visual Fox Pro is, right from here, I can create my files. Let's say create a text file called notes.txt, and I can begin typing away. This is an editor. I can cut and paste, I can highlight, I can drag stuff. Um, let's see what kind of formatting I have here. Uh, when I change the font, it affects the entire editor, though, um, not just the highlighted text. So it's not a, a super RTF, rich text formatting type of editor where uh, it's not a function like Notepad, that's right, uh, where whatever font and size is set affects the entire content. So I can, just, uh, I can save that. I can create programs, too, quite easily. Modi command. I'll just write a simple program to to print hello world five times on the screen. And I'll make sure I clear the screen before I begin. I'll save that. I'll close it here save and I execute my program by saying do my first okay it's just my first and so the instructions are executed and and the results are displayed in the visual Fox Pro desktop so quite easily this is the visual Fox Pro desktop there's one more item I'd like to show you and that's the properties window um, which is docked here Docking is now supported in version uh, 7 and up. I can dock this window and uh, it allows me to access all the properties of the Visual Fox Pro IDE. Um, similar, similarly, as I was doing from the command window using the underscore screen um, object. So this is the same object. If you look, caption says the same thing that I changed it to here. Uh, the back color, I can change that here as well. and a host of other things that uh, we'll come across as we continue uh, this journey into the wonderful world of Visual Fox Pro.